hello everyone, or hello Virgos. This is your September 2015. It's an amazing month. Help is on the way, however, you may be the help. Be ready to change position or adjust timing in order to maximize benefits. Here's our itinerary for um, September, and we're, we're going to spill over from the full moon in the end of August. And let me talk about that full moon. During the full moon, the sun was conjunct Jupiter. And this is going to affect the beginning of September, and there's this bias towards optimism. And the sun and Jupiter are in your first house, which means that you're getting a strong sense of your own identity, body appearance, self-image, and direction, and more optimism. The full moon was in your seventh house, and this is August 27th through 31st, still affecting the beginning of September. So you probably had a revelation or a mystical experience or something romantic regarding partnerships, social life, and public outreach. So you're just kind of floating in September with that awareness. Now there's a conjunction of Venus and Mars and um, that's October, or sorry, August 31st, September 2nd. And this is in your 12th house. So you're probably having a spiritual awareness or dreams or prophecy that have something to do with, um, you know, the whole combining of beauty and action together. Venus is in retrograde until September 6th. So those reunions or reuniting. Now here's the big thing is September 13th, there's a partial solar eclipse. This is going to start affecting about September 10th. And this will signal a new era. Now we do get one every six months, but if you're a Virgo, this is going to especially affect you and your identity. So some people are going to feel out of sync. That is, if you've already had your birthday earlier in September or August, you're going to be fine. If your birthday is still coming up right around this time, mid-September or later in September, you might feel like a little out of sync. But this does have Dharma potential. That is, you can reach your highest, um, your highest goal in life somehow through this solar eclipse and planning around it. Now we have a Mercury retrograde starting September 17th. And the, uh, Mercury retrograde is good for research, and you kind of get into uh, active curiosity, troubleshooting, revisions. It's near the constellation of Corvus, so it's really good to be scientific and inventive, and to um, y to be kind of a um, survivor type, especially regarding second house, which is survival instincts. So we have the survival theme repeated and um, materials, tools, and resources. And there's a lot of kind of recycling and scavenging going on. Okay, now one of the, another really big event in September is the Jupiter-Neptune opposition. This is gonna bring out devotion and reciprocation, and they're gonna be cultural and business collaborations. And this is affecting you because you're in a personal renaissance mode starting this September going for an entire year. But meanwhile, your partnerships may be high, highly sensitive, and that's due to the Neptune moving opposite your sun. So that there, there might be glamour and s sensitivity, but also there's illusions, trickery, and, and a little bit of chaos that you have to just be honest and be very realistic about relationships. Okay, and then September 22nd through 27th, Mars is in square to Saturn. And this is a kind of a heavy loading kind of a configuration. So in terms of you, you're feeling energetic because you've had your birthday. But meanwhile, there's a lot of responsibility regarding family and home. And you can build a more significant, a more organized kind of basis for happiness. But be careful you don't overwork yourself during this time, September 22nd through 27th. The final entry here is our lunar eclipse. This is on September 27th, but we're, go we're going with the time window of the 24th through the 29th, which is the full moon. So this is in your eighth house, dealing with collaborations and contracts. It requires a lot of troubleshooting. And so be very aware of contracts and entering into agreements during this time. So I would say of all these things that you are in the spotlight, and just if you note in green the dates here, September 13th through 17th, this is the best startup time all month. And be sure and take a look at my overview for September for details about all these different dates. So just a sneak preview, October is possibly the best month of 2015. You'll be able to maximize some of your luck from September and August and continue with compulsory upgrades similar to July. So thank you very much for watching, and my name is Victoria Martin.